Chris, you haven't seen my diarrhea sample anywhere, have you? I can't find it anywhere. Oh, here it is. Now, let's get on with today's experiment, shall we? Have you got your sample? Well, that isn't very runny. I thought we agreed on diarrhea. Look, I just thought it might be better to compare a normal solid poo with a runny one. Now, everyone gets diarrhea from time to time, and one of the most common reasons is if you get a tummy bug, and the result is that your body ejects the contents of your digestive system as quickly as possible. Now, as you can see, Chris's plain solid poo looks completely different to mine. But that isn't the only difference. One of these poos weighs more. So which of them do you think weighs more? Chris's solid poo or Zahn's runny poo? As you can see, my diarrhoea poo is a lot heavier than Chris's normal poo. But why? Why is diarrhoea heavier and runnier than normal poo? Well, we're going to show you. Ah, oh, Zahn, welcome to my poo factory. Wow! Wait a minute! Are these my ballet tights? Yes. I'm just using them as part of the poo factory, and they are proving to be very, very effective fake intestines. But don't worry, don't worry, you can have them back later. First up, let's make a solid poo. Get the masher. And mash. This bowl is like the inside of your mouth, chewing up the food. To help mash it up, your body adds saliva, enzymes, and it's all washed down with a drink. OK, Zan, I think that's enough. It's time to move it from the mouth to the intestines. This is like you swallowing. <laughs> Must work. Once the mashed-up food hits your intestines, the muscular walls of your gut push the food along and squeeze out all the goodness. So you can see this rich liquid full of all the nutrients and the water is coming out of the guts and going into the body, which is these metal trays. And what's left is the indigestible stuff that's going to become your poo. Well, Zan, I think it's time to poo. There you go. Much, much more solid than it was at the beginning. Nice, dry, well-formed poo. We have made the perfect poo. And look how much water is in the tray. Our fake intestines managed to get almost all the water out of our poo. This water, full of nutrients, gets reabsorbed back into the body and delivered to where it's needed. So, if that's what happens to make a normal poo, what happens when you make diarrhoea? Well, it all starts in the same way. Right, Zond, put the food in the mouth and start chewing. Just as before, we have the same food and mixture. But this time, our poor intestines are dealing with a tummy bug. Time to swallow. So now something different happens. The tummy bug makes your guts draw in extra water from your body, pushing everything through your system super fast. What I've got here is a high-pressure hose, and I'm going to use this to demonstrate what happens when your guts draw in water from your body. Chris, are you ready? I am ready. Three, two, one, go! Here it comes. Oh, that's good, Zond. That's good. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that is amazing, Zond. <laughs> oh, that's enough. Xander's turned my perfect poo factory into the world's first diarrhea machine. So, we've shown you that diarrhea is heavier and runnier than normal poo, as your intestines don't get the chance to do their job. And all the water that should have been absorbed, like the normal poo, ends up in the toilet. And you can see that in our trays. There's almost no water in our trays at all with the diarrhea. And that's why it's also a good idea to drink plenty of water or rehydration drinks when you have diarrhoea, because they replace the nutrients and water your body has lost. Speaking of drinks, all this experimentation is making me thirsty. Chris, I'm not sure you want to be drinking that. That's my backup diarrhoea sample. Uh, 